I'm Helen, and I'm a senior at Millard North. Sweaty. <laughs> Sweaty, that's what I am. I aspire not to perspire, but it's all in vain. I spray and roll on antiperspirants until their scent follows me like a shadow. I conjure their powers forth from a can like a genie from a bottle. Magical mist surrounds me, and my only wish is to get rid of my B.O. Oh, fun sparkly t water bottles and sassy tank tops meant to be worn at the gym say, I'm not sweating, I'm glistening. Well, I'm being told two separate stories, and I'm sick of listening. Exercising at the gym feels like exercising my inner critical demons from the pits of hell who actively display my worst fear, sweating in public. Running on a treadmill is a double workout because as my heart accelerates, my mind races and my eyes dart, scanning the gym for people who might be judging me. I have anxiety attacks from the mere act of thinking about raising my hand in class because the desks are placed so close together. I have legitimate concerns that my sour cream and onion aroma might knock someone out. I go to the bathroom to stand under the electric hand dryers and pray that they might pick today to effectively evaporate moisture. It's enough to drive me insane to the point that I need some professional help along with my degree clinical strength. Feel good sayings retweeted on Twitter don't change the fact that outside of corporate marketing offices, everyone feels differently. And the second a woman breaks a sweat, she shatters her credibility. A drip of sweat from forehead to lips tastes salty like an ocean of failure because I'm not successfully feminine. Real women sweat glitter and smell like they're perpetually emerging from the shower. <laughs> and when they sit on a leather seat in a car or restaurant, their thighs don't leave behind marks that smell like burning hair and look like sad, wet angel wings. <laughs> God lost an angel. She left heaven because living so close to the sun brought perspiration to her pores, which dripped from her brow like a fall from grace. I spray scented chemicals under my arms to try to eclipse the wet half-moon stains, but no matter what degree of antiperspirant I use, I can't keep my excessive sweating a secret. This should not be my worst fear, sweating. It's sexy when a chiseled man does it, but when my body, a woman's body, carries out the same biological process, there are completely different connotations. We are expected to hide how nature made us and feel embarrassed when we don't measure up. No one can measure up. I refuse to measure up. I will not attach my femininity to expensive perfumes and soaps because it's these expectations that stink. <laughs>